Welcome to part 8 of my virtual reality development for absolute beginners series. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel and something doesn't work from this video, make sure you start from the first video from my playlist and then follow along. The link to the playlist can be found below. Okay, next, as promised, let me show you all the other sample game scenes that are provided that you can play around with. For that, you can go to the project tab over here and then click the assets folder over here and then go to the right hand side, go to the scenes folder. And as you can see, there are two scenes, okay? The sample scene is what we have over here right now. And then this is the basic scene. Basic scene is basically, if you double click it, it will load that basic scene. And this is simply an empty game object file with all the camera settings and everything already pre-configured if you uh if you expand this as you can see there's a camera offset as you can see there's a left controller and a right controller already set up now if you want to see where that specific game object is in the scene window all you have to do is double click it when you double click it it will automatically take you to where that controller is this is another very important feature that you'll be using it very often during your virtual reality development journey and under locomotion as you can see you have the turn motion move motion teleportation climb and even grab move which is deselected by default this basic scene is what anyone that's trying to start from scratch but do not want to set up all the controllers and the locomotion and all those interactions from scratch will probably use but anyway what i actually wanted to show you is the other sample game scenes that you can play around with so for that again go to the assets folder go to the samples folder and then go to the xr interaction toolkit version 3 and then let's go to the starter assets first okay starter assets and if you scroll down there's a demo scene if you double click this it will automatically load the sample game scene. Now all you have to do is just click the play button and wear your headset and you'll be able to play the scene. So let's do that. And as you can see, here's another sample game scene that I'm in and here you go. I'm able to see the controllers. And if I use my left joystick, I can use it to move around and I can use the right joystick to simply turn and look at this. And if I use the grab button, I can move this item, I can move this item, I can move this one. And each of these objects have scripts, have the grab interactable script attached to it with the specific options that are enabled, which I will go over in the next part. If you turn around, you can also, you know, if you go close to it, you can, and you see the water drop icon on my controller you can use that to poke it you see that's so cool right you can either do that or you can use the ray interactor and hold the grab button in order to also poke it but without the animation if you move to the net section over here these objects have the far grab interactable script attached to it what it means is that from far you can simply point to it and then Press the grab button. What it will happen is it will dynamically attach to your controller. Now, if you do this one, it will automatically attach to your controller in a specific way, as, similar to a gun. Now, let's go to these UI elements. And as you can see, you can, from far, you can click it. You can click the buttons, toggle. You can play around with this. You can scroll using your um, joystick. It's so cool. You can also use your controllers and poke it around. And if you move to over here, this is the climb interactable object. You can climb using your controllers by holding the grab button, or you can even teleport up there by using the uh, blink uh, joystick. And there you go. As you can see, this is so cool. You can go over here and I'm on the top over here. I can just simply fall all the way around. Feel free to, you know, explore all the offerings that are provided by the sample game scene in it's our interaction toolkit so let's move on to the next one click the play button again so in order to stop playing go down to the project tab and then go to the version 3 folder and then this time you can go to the spatial keyboard folder this is a, this is a new feature that was released exclusively for in the version 3 
So if you double click the keyboard demo scene, it has loaded and then simply click the play button and play it in your virtual reality headset. Just move around using a joystick and as you can see, there are two keyboard examples, global keyboard example and world space keyboard example. And each of them have their own text bots with different configurations. Now the difference between this and this is that if you click any of the text bots by using the UI select button, a keyboard will pop up and wherever you move, the keyboard will follow you. That's so cool, right? Now you can also use this keyboard in order to either select these buttons by using the UI select button. And as you can see, all whatever you typed is coming over here. Or you can poke it like that. And if you press this button, it will simply uh, disappear. Whereas over here, what it is that, over here, the difference is that the, this keyboard will be fixed. No matter where you go, the keyboard will be fixed. And you can click on any of these input text fields and type any of the text over here. And all of them will come over there. And if you click this button, the keyboard will disappear. But if you simply click any of these text fields, the keyboard will come back in the fixed position. So these are all stuff that you can play around with. And each of these have like special settings that I will go over in the in the part three of the tutorial that you can tweak around and use it for your own custom game. Now let's move on to the next sample. Oh, this sample is so cool. This is where you can use your actual hands instead of your controllers. Okay, let's uh, play, click the play button and then go down and click the version three folder and then go to the hands interaction demo. All right, and then scroll all the way down and then go click the hands demo scene and then click the play button to play it and then wear your headset. I'm just gonna move around. As you can see, I'm in the sample game scene and I have the controllers. I can, I'm going to click the table handle and bring it up. Oh, all of them fell down, but that's fine. All of them will automatically be regenerated. And here's the cool part. Yes, I can uh, interact with all of these items using my controllers. Yes, as you can see over here, but if I take my controllers and then I put it on a stable object like my table over here, then like magic, here you go. You can see your hands and you can use your hands to interact with all of these objects. See, I can simply grab them. I can throw it around. I can take this. I can put it inside this uh, socket. I can do a lot of cool stuff. I can hold the table. Here are three tips. Okay, while using the hands interaction method. Now, if you want to grab items, that's simple. You just grab it like that. However, if you want to select something using the ray interactor, I recommend you keep your hands like this. All right. And then point wherever you want to click and then simply click that area by using this motion on your right hand like that. Just tap it like that and then it will work perfectly otherwise it will kind of glitch if you try something else it will not work properly now if you want to poke i recommend you keep your index finger out like this and then use it to poke as you can see over here it works perfectly you can use that to scroll you can toggle it's so cool you can you know uh, move the chess piece you can do a lot of cool stuff it's so crazy and the coolest part of it is you can also grab this object you can make it big by grabbing it like that it's so cool right and the best part is if you're not comfortable by using the hands because it's it's too much for you you can always switch to the controllers by simply grabbing the controllers another thing that uh, many people don't notice is if you turn your hand like that you, there is a menu that you can also access as you can see and which follows along let me do that while using my hands because this is a hands tutorial as you can see i simply turn over and there's a, uh, another cool menu that follows around and it also it also appears in both my hands click here for the next part in this series